this video, we're going to be breaking down one of my favorite coverage defenses to utilize against Trips tight end. You can blitz from this, but the coverage is unbelievable. And I just want to show it to you in this video. Now, you can do this against pretty much any Trips formation. We're going to be talking about a principle that is really, really good. And uh, we're going to first talk about how we used to do it, and then we're going to talk about how we do it now. So how we used to do this principle is this was known as the quarter man quarter principle. And it has been effective in Madden for a long time. It's been very effective for defending trip sets because you can basically create match concepts within these adjustments. And so it was kind of like a hidden adjustment that a lot of people didn't really uh, understand. So what we would basically used to do is we used to do it out of man coverage. So what we would do is we would essentially, we would man up that slot corner on the trip side. We would then quarter both of these guys. So we would quarter the uh, safety on the trip side and then we would quarter the outside quarter and then from there you could do really whatever else you wanted to on the back end of this so you could kind of craft some really cool coverages because you could basically use these three zones to lock down the set on the left entirely however in college football 25 the cover zero principles they don't really have the proper match principles so what you're going to see here is that this inside quarter is just going to literally be an inside quarter and this guy is going to get open. The hardest person to defend in any trips formation typically is going to be that middle trips receiver. He's very, very effective. And this adjustment basically would shut him down entirely. So now what I want to show you is kind of the new method that we're going to utilize to do this. And the best trick that I know so far in terms of how to do this is we are going to be coming out in the cover three match. Now, Another really quick tip for this is you want to be in the slot cornerback package. And I actually deep dove this uh, trips tight end defense. There's more to it than just this in our school community. If you're not a school member yet, it's only $10. It gets you access to all of my ebooks, all of my updates, pro tips, everything you need to get better at college football and Madden for just $10. The link is in the description if you want to go check that out. 335 penny what we're going to do is we're going to come out in cover three match cover three match and for some reason i'm I actually my hypothesis is that it has to do with the seam flats um because in quarters if you leave the quarter flats if you if you shade the quarter flats it changes the adjustments so anyways what's really cool about this seam flat this year is this seam flat has a matching principle on this middle trips receiver. So what we're going to do, I'm going to spy everybody on the front here. I'm just going to spy all these players so that you can just kind of see how this works. So you see everybody in here is spied. And what we're going to do this time is we're going to do those same adjustments. We're not going to man this guy up on the seam flat. We're just going to leave the seam flat as it is. And you're going to see here that this is going to create a matching principle. So Again, I'm just going to run verticals for the sake of testing this. And I want you to watch the safety in the middle of the field. You're going to see now he literally robbers down, and he's going to take this crosser all day. He's going to take the crosser away. And the other thing that he's going to do, obviously he'll take away, he basically matches to the number three receiver, whatever he runs. But what's really unique about this is because we shade inside, we are able to get this match to not only play really good, um, but we're also, by shading these quarters inside, it takes away the threat of this deep post over the top. So if we weren't to shade this inside, this post could be a touchdown. But what you're going to see is with the shade, now he's going to basically lock onto him every single step of the way, and he will rob the post. So you have the post covered, so they can't go over the top of you with the post route. And then also take a look at this and how this defended the corner. This is shaded inside, but as you see, if I click onto that, I'm going to be able to make a play on that corner route every single time. Now you might be saying, as I would, like the reason we would oftentimes want to man up the reason we'd oftentimes want to want a man up is because if this guy ran vertical, we couldn't really guarantee that this was going to be defended. Well, what you're going to see here in this vertical play, I'm going to put that number one receiver underneath, and this should do a really good job still of defending this because the seam flat matches really, really well this year. So you see here, seam flat. You see how he's just going to take this guy up the seam and he's going to basically be able to make a play on the ball. So now you have that whole left side taken away. Now, if I was to take that seam flat and I was to man him up, this could potentially change the behavior of the quarters. Let's see if it does. 
So this could potentially change the behaviors of the quarters. We'll go back to the vertical setup, and what you'll see here, the man up is a little safer, uh, but as you see, it changes everything. Notice how the quarters no longer match, and we're no longer in our principal. So this is why it's super important to understand what these zones are coded to actually do and how they're actually supposed to respond. The cool part about this coverage, in my opinion, is that it can completely neutralize the three wide receiver side of the trips formation. And then all you have to do is come up with how you want to defend the right side. As of right now, my favorite way to defend this would be to send four off of this left side edge and then be able to come back side here. And again, I think seam flats are really, really good. So we're just gonna le leave this linebacker on the right in a seam flat. And then we have the full capability to either user this safety here, um, or what we can also do is just have a little bit more middle of the field protection if we're worried about that post. Um, another thing that you could do though that I think is really cool is you could basically play cover six or cover two over here on the right side, uh, which is going to really bomb-proof the coverage. The deep half is going to take away any bomb threat that they could potentially have. This deep half is going to take that away, and you're going to see here that this is still going to match. And, oh, by the way, you're getting instant, instant pressure. I want to thank you for watching this video. This is um, how to basically craft match coverage within trips tied in even though you can't no longer do it uh, as we used to do it you can still certainly do it this is a cover three defense and i think this is one of the most effective ways to defend trips tied in if you want to learn more about our defense or offenses in college football 25 join the school community for just ten dollars to get all of our offensive and defensive ebooks